Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to the FS22 in Zilonka. This is part 3. And here we are harvesting the beetroot. Or let's say the helper is doing this and he's quite good at doing this. He does it better than I could do it. Yeah, and it's nearly full, so we should jump to the dealership and pick our tractor and the trailer that I bought. Okay. And then let's rush to our farm. Our stork, do you see him? It's always very tiny. It's a big, big bird, but um, in the sky it looks very tiny. So maybe this is not the best route, but it will bring us to our farm. And I get to know the farmer's market. Yeah, and I'm quite excited and I think I will need a combine harvester as well. As soon as possible. Because I should have a look. But there, yeah, I think it was canola. Oh, and now he has a full grain tank. Grain is funny, it's a beetroot tank. Oh, and this area is not so flat as I thought, but I think this area of the field just beside the farm is rather, f um, rather flat, so it should be easy to enlarge the farm there. So now, here we are. Um, no, maybe not close enough. A little bit closer, come on, you can do this. Why? What's wrong with this? Um, let's see, maybe this trailer is not good for carrots that would be bad oh yes no this is really bad okay i can use it for the grain but this is not good so what is with this this can take the carrots and such and this here come on come on show me what you can this too okay let's check but i think this is too small oh eight eight cubic meters is okayish extension 12 yep this is okay. Oh, it is, um, it has a dolly, but uh, then I take it with a dolly. <laughs> it's better than, than nothing. This design is not changing a lot. Maybe there it's changing. Oh yeah, inside. I keep it with blue and the design color. Okay, okay, I can change this. Even if this is the main color, but... Hmm. I think I like it like that. 
And the rim color is okay. And it's cheap. So I buy it. And then maybe I just buy another tractor because we will need quite a lot of tractors anyhow. So we have this Fiat Agri already. And maybe I try to get one that is as fast as possible. Oh, not the very modern, very fast one, but uh, faster than this. This would be awesome. I like those big fent favorites and they are 50 kilometers per hour. But I'm not sure whether I have this or this here. This is only 30 kilometers. I, maybe I have this for my harvester already. This here. And this is the one I want. It's 50 kilometers per hour. It looks old fashioned, but it's powerful. And you can choose the color to your liking. This. And here you can see it's kind of a bura, but uh, they changed it quite a lot. And what do I like? Oh, this looks forestry. Like, I like it. And maybe this is too similar. No. And maybe I should rush <laughs> because uh, the helper is waiting. But I want to have a color that I like. This looks like metal. But I don't like the color so much. No, maybe I should take this. That is so similar. And then here maybe I can... Hmm. What is this? Quivre metal. Metal. Okay. Or maybe rather that. No. And this. Hmm. Maybe I take it like that. Okay, I have the strong engine and it's fast and then I should hurry. This is very odd that this trailer is configured in a way that it uh, can't take the carrots. And as you see, other uh, modded vehicles don't have any problems with this. So it maybe the, the red trailer configured um, each fruit type uh, dedicated and the others say okay you can take bulk and then you can take nearly everything and then when there is a new new fruit type and it's defined as bulk it can um, the vehicle can take it without any problems. But I take the red one for the grain. So now Yes, yes, very good. Looking to them. Oh, now I have to, to go away. Okay, this is halfway full. 
Let's drive somewhere out of the way. Maybe here. And the other one should go even further. So, maybe here. Yes. You have to face outside of the farm and be embarrassed. It's a nice trailer, but it should be embarrassed. So, yeah, that's the next task. And let's see, how many fields do we own? I already forgot. Oh, yeah, the last one is a grass field. Okay. And this is corn? Yeah, it's corn. And this, those are too big. This is um, parsnips. And this is carrots. And it would take hours and hours to harvest this. So I stay with those and I think about what I want to do with the grass. Maybe I could make um, an animal barn here, maybe for sheep or so. And I want to make this field shorter when the beetroot is finally harvested to enlarge the farm. I think rather soon I will buy more fields. Let's see how much it costs. Oh, this is a huge area. This is 143,000 and this is 62, so this is much cheaper. And I don't know whether I could use this whole area and this here this is big too nearly hundred hundred thousand this is the most centered on the actual field but here we could make more fields hmm. I have to think about it so and in winter, this grass is good. We can harvest it again in November and, yeah, feed some animals or sell it as silage. But now I need a combine. So, and let's see again. Sorry, I have to think about which size of harvester and therefore I need to consider the field sizes. This is small. I only need a very small harvester. But if I want to buy this field, this is not so small. Let's check whether this has a contract. Field 66? No. So maybe I could guess... Yeah, all those fields around the 60. Um, dum, 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 dum. 59. It is... Come on, where is the hectare? 2.5. So this is 2.5. I think this, this the size is rather similar to the field 66. Hmm. For this, I would be happy with a normal size combine. So, this, for example, not a big one. It's still a small field, but other than that, I would have thought on buying the Starliner, which is much cheaper, but I think for 2.5 hectares, it would take me too long. And therefore, I think I buy this basic one. And I hope you don't hate me for buying this basic combine. 
I find it very useful and the size is rather convenient. And if there would be another one the same size for the same price, I would gladly take this. So, and I know a lot of you guys hate this combine, but it's so useful. I was thinking on making this part of my TARDIS mod pack and yeah, keeping the, the combine itself because I'm no vehicle modder and but giving it a color choice, removing this big writing. I don't like this big writings there and with a very big variety of colors and then giving it a really big bunker because it's a TARDIS, something like 200,000 liters and yeah, it wouldn't be the same like the Colossus, never because it's smaller, it's slower and but it would be something yeah, where you can have a better color choice, maybe increasing the, the power a little bit, that you could use um, a larger header, if you so wish. Yeah, but I think even if I want to make this, it would take quite a while until I find the time to do it. I have several other plans for this TARDIS mod and for other mods and my maps and uh, and then the time runs out. <laughs> oh oh. This is rather steep here. Okay. Yeah, and if I would buy this field, I guess it was 66 or so, then I would need a corn header, but I think I could live with this. And then what about uh, first making an image of this and then maybe I just jump out or I run through the ditch and then check on this area because you buy this if you want to buy this field you buy this and this is hilly so nothing to build, but you could easily make a field. Would be a lot of work. Let's see. I would try to get a rather big um, cultivator and do it with a, a field cultivator use for field creation or so mod because it would be a lot of work maybe i would rent a, a bigger tractor <laughs> and a big cultivator 
but this could be a really nice field. You can go from there to there. And it is hilly. But for a field, it's okay. And for a field, it's not too hilly. It, for building, it's impossible. Then I would say, no, this land is not good. But for having a field, and you could get quite some uh, some yield from this. So I will think about this. It's nothing for August or September, but rather maybe when the corn is harvest ready and I'm eager to have another field and then I could do this in the winter and then grow some stuff in in springtime over there but no I won't grow carrots there <laughs> but here this field would be a nice field for carrots and such I would say because it's so small okay so I think that's gonna be it for this episode and in the next episode we will keep on harvesting and yeah i'm thinking on buying the soup factory because it's rather close by and we can could earn more money with our um, uh, our beetroot and later the what do we have here carrots yeah harvest ready Ooh, today so this will be quite a long day and yeah then I would uh, change the farm because yeah th those three buildings have to go and I would need one or two sheds and production buildings and a different silo and as you see a lot of work Okay, and here I have to unload the bunker. Okay, so let's just do it and then I say my goodbyes. Okay, so I wish you a wonderful day, thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time, tschüss!